Good morning, this is Lady Nefertiti BK, and today I'm, I'm here to discuss uh, my regimen and uh, the products that I use. Uh, this video is a request. Team Octavia wanted to know what my regimen was and products that I use. So I think what I'll do is um, I'll discuss my regimen first. I have a very, very uh, easy regimen. Um, I roller set my hair. Well, let me say it in order. I shampoo and condition my hair once a week. Um, and then I, I do a roller set after I shampoo and condition. Then I do a roller set and I sit under my dryer. Um, because I have a, a 1875 blow dryer instead of a 2000 watt or 2200 watt I have a lower watt so it takes me about about two hours for my hair to dry completely 100 percent now so about two hours and um, then after that um, I will add my leave-in uh, then I will um, I'll flat iron my roots only my roots I try to leave my ends alone because I think if you flat iron your ends too much, you'll end up with split ends and um, it'll just end up really bad. So um, after I flat iron my roots, then I'll go from there. I'll either put rollers back in it for overnight or I'll do a cross wrap. Every once in a blue moon, I'll do a complete wrap. Um, but I try to do the cross wraps um, more than the full wraps but i do i do both but i just prefer one over the other um and if my hair feels a little drier than usual then i will do a a condition wash instead of a shampoo and condition wash in the middle of the week if my ends feel a little drier than usual and i will do that in ponytails like i'll have maybe five ponytails when i do that or um, I may have four ponytails and I will put the conditioner on my hair and leave it on for a few minutes and then I'll rinse it and then I'll put rollers in. No, I'll put my leave-in in. Then I'll put rollers in and, uh, and I'll just leave it like that overnight. I find that if I air dry my hair, it feels softer and bouncier instead of under the hair dryer. So in the summer, most of the time in the summer, I air dry. Sometimes I'll sit under the dryer in the summer. But in the winter, I tend to sit under the dryer more. Unless I'm home all day, then I will air dry. So uh, please excuse me. I have like the worst allergies today. It's awful. Excuse me. Okay, so that that is my regimen. That is my regimen. And I will add... Um, I will add some type of a leave-in on a daily basis because my ends do get dry often. So I do use a leave-in every single solitary day. So it's not like I do it one day and I get to skip a day. Mm -mm. I have very dry hair, so I have to do it every day. Now, now she wanted to know about the products. Okay, so what I think I'll do, I'm going to start with the shampoos I use. Uh, I am a bit of a product junkie, so, and I don't use them all at the same time or, you know, just go crazy with it, but it depends on the health of my hair. If my hair is very dry, then I will use a certain type of product. If it needs um, a protein instead, then I will do that. So um, let me start with, because I have some of my products like right here where I can get to them. Okay, uh, one of the shampoos I use is the Elastic QP Cream Conditioning Shampoo. This shampoo is darn good. And it really does moisturize. And I bought this at my beauty supply. Sally's also has this too, though. But this is really good. Um, another shampoo I use and I absolutely love. I get really good results using the shampoo. And I've, I've never really been a shampoo lover. I would use it because I just had to. I had to clean the hair. You got to clean the hair, then you got to rebuild it with that conditioner. But anyway, um, it is the Ion Keratin Shampoo, and it's the Smooth Keratin Shampoo, I guess. This is another one of my favorites. 
Okay, that's another one of my favorites. Another one I don't have out here um, is the Shima shampoo. Like, I'll use Shima shampoo too. And I use these at different times, okay? Um, this one I absolutely love. This is definitely a love. Uh, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo is a favorite. Absolutely love this shampoo. And it's so funny how I started using this. I received a sample um, in the mail, and it was a really big sample. I mean, like, that sample was like, it was a packet filled, and I, I got like maybe four or five uses out of it, and I said, oh, I have to go buy this. So the way I use those uh, depends on how my hair is also. This one I use if my hair feels extra dry, like extra dry. Um, this one I use if my hair is dry or feels like it has a little bit of moisture because it will balance my hair out anyway that one and I got this from Sally's and and I got this from Walmart right yeah I got it from Walmart but Walmart and Target both has it I think I got it from Walmart um and this one it doesn't matter if my hair is dry or if it's moisturized it, it gets the job done and I love the results every time so I guess these are just all the same right okay um now, as for, let me see, let me put some more products up there. Because I had some on my bed because I told you I'm a little bit of a product junkie. All right. All right. Okay, I'll start with, uh, um, sorry, I didn't want this to get caught on the earrings. Okay, I'll start with the Dominican products. My absolute favorite Dominican conditioner is the Silicon Mix Bamboo. And I use this when my hair is feeling really dry. I try not to let my hair get so dry that it gets brittle. But sometimes, like, sometimes you can't control it. Let's say if the, the weather is just cold and dry or, I don't know, life. Um... And then your hair gets really dry. You can't help it, right? But this is a favorite for that. For extra dry hair, it will balance it out, make it strong. Plus, I like the scent. So this is a favorite Dominican product. And I do go through my Dominican days. Like, like I'll use like my regular products, and then I'll use my Dominican products. So every week might be a little different. I'll use something different. So that's that. And then I'll use the crazy pillow when I need, like if my hair is not totally dry, <laughs> just a little bit dry, then I might use the crazy pillow. Because I told you my hair is dry naturally, so yeah. And a matter of fact, I don't know if you guys know how the silicone mix looks on the inside. You might, you might know how it looks. It's yellow. It's yellow, okay? And as you can tell, I have used a lot. It's about time for me to order some more. Like I told you, it is my absolute favorite Dominican uh, product. And the Crazy Pillow is my second favorite. I oh, love the way this smells. My uh, second favorite product. And oh, the, the smells so good to me. And it's white. And I had like two or three of these. So I've only used a little bit of that. And then my other... Dominican leave-in that I, I really like too is the Salerm. And yes, I do use the Salerm. Um, I use different products, different weeks, depending on the condition of my hair. So um, Salerm. And where did I get this Salerm? Where did I get this Salerm? Oh, eBay. I got it from eBay. Yeah. So um, I got the better price for it on eBay. So yeah, that stuff is really good. Um, so what should I go to next? Oh, and then my all-time number one favorite, nothing beats it. Um, I like all of my products, but this is like the absolute best. Is the olive oil replenishing conditioner. I don't care what condition my hair is in. This will get it right every single time. I use this um, even after I relax my hair. It 
it balances it out. I think this is both a moisturizing conditioner and a protein together. It is a balancer. So uh, this is my number one conditioner. Um, if I'm not sure of what condition my hair is in or what I should do, this product is what I go for. So um, yeah, this is my favorite. Okay. Uh, any more? No, these are leave-ins, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I left some of my other conditioners under my sink because come on, those are like, these are my favorite backbone, never, never can go wrong with products right there. Okay. Now my leave-ins, um, let me see, what should I start with? Okay. The It's a 10, I use every once in a blue moon. Um, if the very, very tips of my hair feels a little brittle, then I will go with this and it will take that that brittleness out of it so yeah that's that's a good leave and it's a bit pricey that's why it's every once in a blue moon um the other one is my pantene pro v overnight this just restores the hair you add a little bit of this uh to your hair to, to your ends in your hair and the next morning it feels brand new i i can't I can't even explain this product. I don't know how this product is doing that, but it's like you wake up and you got new hair. It's interesting though, but yeah, this is really, really good. That's good stuff there. Cause I know some people are wondering, do you still use the products that you, that you showed in old videos? Most definitely. I most definitely do. Um, let me see now for my hair today. I did use this before I got under the dryer. Carol's Daughter Manoy Repairing Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is great. Uh, gives a lot of strength to my hair. It strengthens my hair really good. So that is another favorite. And I like the way it smells too. Um, the Apple Keratin and Green Tea uh, Restructurizer. I really like this one too. Um, now, I use this when I really, really need to use this. I'll use this after a chemical service, whether it's relaxers or coloring. And I haven't colored my hair in quite a while, uh, but I would like to go back to coloring. <laughs> but it's really good after um, a chemical service. Uh, it's really good if the hair seems like it's, it's a little damaged, extremely dry. But you got to be careful because if you use this too much back to back, back to back, well, I won't say if you, I'll just say me, okay, on my hair. If I use it too much, then my hair will start to go from feeling strong and good to starting to feel brittle. So I just use it when I really need to use it. But this is a fantastic product right here. I can't go wrong with that one either. But I pretty much know how to use that. And I put this on my edges, front and back, every single day. It is the Dew Grow Stimulating Oil, and I put I, I have some grapeseed oil in here, and I have um, um, black Jamaican castor oil. I have that in here, too, and I mix it up, and I just apply this to my edges. Now, this oil I got from Sally's, and then I just I, I add my, my other two oils to it. So, um, yeah, this is really good. I can't use the black Jamaican black castor oil. I can't use it by itself because it makes my scalp really itchy. So I add other oils to it, but it works really good with the other oils. Yeah. And you can see how my edges is coming along. You can see how it's doing. It's, it's doing its thing. And um, this I put on my hair every day. It is the Sexy Hair Smooth and Seal. I put this on most of the time now. Um, it does not weigh my hair down and uh, it makes my hair really soft and smooth and I just really like it. And it says it's an anti-frizz and shine spray. I love this stuff. Yeah, this is really good. Okay, three more products. So hang in there, you guys. Um, uh, when I'm ready to flat iron my roots, um, I'll use this or I will use the generic soothing serum, Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I'll use this 
this makes my hair silky every single solitary time i like this um, it's not like it works sometimes and doesn't work others this works all the time got this from sally's it's a winner so i use that for my flat ironing um, and sometimes i use this for my roller sets i go back and forth between my Afoji, my Manoy, and my Lotta Body um, Coconut and Shea Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And I got this online because I didn't have it at Sally's. So, um, yeah, I got this online. But most beauty supply stores has this, though. Most of them do. And, uh, and it's really cheap. It's like $3 and something. So, And it's really good. And it makes my hair um, easy to detangle. Uh, it dries faster. I have a lot of bounce and body in my hair. Um, this stuff is good. And I'm, I've never really truly been fond of any type of mousse because all of them made my hair hard. But this one's a really good one. I like this. So for definite curls, that's the way to go. And the other thing I use, this is the last thing, I promise you. Um, Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. I put this on my ends um, and on my hair when my hair is wet. I put it on there lightly. It makes my hair easy to detangle. Um, my curls are bouncy and uh, they stay soft, real, real soft. Um, this is really good. This is really good. And I'll probably always, always use this as well. And so, and I got this from Walmart. Yeah, this one here. So, those are my products in this video. <laughs> those are my products. Those are my backbone right there. I, I never stray from, from that stuff. Um, best of everything I have, that's like the best, okay? So, thank you so much for asking me to do this video, Team Octavia. This was just for you, and you have a wonderful day, and stay safe, and take care. Bye-bye. Mwah.